How long have you guys been here? Uh, about two and a half weeks, give or take. I think officially our cell phone signal was out on the 5th, so I think we showed up on the 6th or 7th. Yeah, something Around like that. Yeah. Um, how many cop supporters live here now? Well, um, I know that there's us and our family of seven, and then there's him. And there's another gentleman. I don't know his name. Uh uh. I, I know that there's there's one person that bought property here. We have uh, elderly, well maybe not elderly, but a retired couple that's planning on moving out. We also have uh, quite a few young people that are going to be moving out. Um, we get word all the time that more people are uh, settling up their affairs where they're from and coming out here because. They want an all-white community. They want to be free of places like Detroit, where there's, you know, there's, it's just a ghetto. It's, uh, you know, destitute and destroyed by minorities, by the immigrants from Mexico, by the blacks. You know, they want to come somewhere where they can let their kids play and not worry, where they can come out and not worry about getting shot up by gangbangers who are angry about this color or that color. It's not even necessarily that they want to come out and, and support uh, the white power scene as much as they just want to be safe. Yeah. They just want to have that ability to be in a community of people that are, are of similar views and similar uh, ideas. Do you have any idea of uh, number of uh, families that are trying to move this way? Well, I know of at least two or three for sure, but I know that more are coming as the news spreads and as the media coverage continues. Uh, number of children too. I think people come out. I know there's one family that has uh, five children also that's coming out in the near future. I just talked to Mr. Cobb and he informed us that there's another family that's a husband and wife that are going to be coming out. Um, I know that there's some NSM members. The NSM, just for the record, is the National Socialist Movement, which is headed by Commander Jeff Scoop. And this is his building right there that was given to him by uh, Craig Cobb. Uh, as more of a gesture of goodwill and uh, sort of a symbolic gesture. Obviously, the building isn't in great repair. Um, we plan on demolishing it at some point and rebuilding. But our idea is also here to refurbish and refresh this community, to bring back life to something that's sort of, you know. Turning over a new leaf and leaf. That's right. Okay. Uh, you said you're part of the National Socialist Movement. That's Are there correct. Other groups that you identify with? Well, uh, we actually are supporters. We're all about white unity. Uh, if a group is a white nationalist, national socialist, uh, or a like group, we're more than willing to uh, approach them with open arms. Uh, we appreciate and, and love any group that's going to support our race and support our cause. Um, so we're not, we're not discriminatory. Uh, Craig is a creativist. And that's another uh, group, it's actually a religion, uh, that you'll have to do some research on that. I'm not too terribly We're familiar. Still We're still learning it. about it as well. Um, and basically that religion entails just doing everything that is for our race and nothing that is against it. Right. If it benefits your race and your culture, do it. If it doesn't, then do not. And it's just, it's a way of living. We, we believe in purity of body and mind. We believe in promoting our history promoting uh, the legacy of our race before it's wiped off the face of this planet. We're fastly becoming a minority in our own country. You can't go to a school, you can't go to a town where they don't have uh, translation in Spanish, translation in other languages. And I'm sorry, this is America. We speak English here. And even in school, I pulled my kids out of public education because I felt that they were being biased against because they're white. Um, so. How do you feel about the reaction from the North Dakota community? Bring it on. Bring it on. We expected it, but actually I expected a lot more violence from the we had some. We had some threats initially. Yeah. There was a, a biker crew that was supposed to come shoot us up in the house. Um, you can't tell me that anyone's a peace-loving person who's willing to come draw guns and fire on a family with children. <laughs> So, but we're not violent, but we're not, as the commander said when he was interviewed, we're not Amish and we'll fight for our right. I have just as much a right to live here with my family as anyone else does. And I'm not going anywhere. Let them. I'll go to Bismarck for what I need if I have to. We did yesterday. Yep. <laughs> so with the threats of violence, there hasn't been any real you say the threats seem to be empty almost? They seem to be empty, yes, at this point. But I, 
also know that with more people coming out, the community as a whole and those that really object to our presence are thinking that uh, it may be more serious, so the violence could escalate, depending on as more people come out. I, I have no way to, to tell one way or the other. Last Friday, there was an emergency town meeting that we weren't notified about, and we were sitting in our car smoking a cigarette because it was so cold. And uh, actually, on the AM station 550, they were talking about us, dropped our names, and then said a lot of slanderous things like Mr. Cobb's not planning on septic and there's five children in the house and the threat seems to be real now that people are moved and yep. then they uh, when the town meeting was done they drove by and yelled you and kids are like oh wow okay <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah just uh, no help uh, if anyone uh, has a flat tire or something they'll just drive by and take pictures and laugh or mm -hmm. snowmobiles trying to push you over and yeah so Stop the hate. <laughs> but remember, we're the ones full of hate. <laughs> Do you guys think the media attention is helping your cause? Or Any you media attention is positive attention. People, if they know we're here, they will rally to our cause. I think a lot of people feel the same way that we do, but just don't know where to turn because everything around them is so Zionized. It's so, it's, it's so, um, so controlled by the media by the Zog and the, uh, the Jewish controlled media that they don't understand that we are here and that we haven't given up. And although the scene has changed from what it was say in the 90s or the early 2000s, we're still just as strong and just as motivated. And that's why we're here. This isn't, I mean, this isn't a thriving metropolis, you know, with tons of attractions for, for me to bring my family, but I'm here to prove a point. I'm here to defend Mr. Cobb. I'm here to, to to um, set a new standpoint for our race and for our culture. Because if we can do it here, we can do it elsewhere. And I think that's what people might be afraid of. What groups do you want to exclude from this community? Would you like to? Jews, blacks, Hispanics. Uh, and any white person that decides to. And, any anyone, and anyone that wants to be a traitor to their own race. But, like I've said, they have just as much a right as we do. I can't force them out any more they can, than they can force me out. Just but when we become the majority in this town, you know, we are first and foremost American patriots. We follow the democratic system. Even though it might be flawed, we still operate within it. We're American citizens, just like everyone else. And is becoming the majority in this town means that then we have voting majority, then so be it. Wow. We're going to do it by legal means, though, not by violence. What, are, what about, like, homosexuals? Do you have any uh, we no do not tolerance. tolerate homosexuality. No. We believe in the natural order. If you look out in nature, you don't see squirrels humping rats. It just doesn't happen. You don't see homosexual acts in nature, and if you do, they don't come to any fruition. There's no, you know, you can't breed with homosexuality. We believe in the natural order as being the, pr the primary and most important thing. Nature is a great example. If we follow those laws, we should be in good shape. Uh, what, what about women? How do women stand in the, compared to men in the National Socialist Movement? Well, they're equal. equal. Honestly, she can be just as much a part of the National Socialist Movement as I can. They have a women's division, and they have, very, they have quite a few active women that actively participate in the movement, participate in the rallies, participate in the activities of the movement. I think that might be a common misconception about your guys' beliefs. Uh, when I was, when we were talking in the newsroom, there was a lot mm -hmm. of questions as to how women stood in, in the, uh, in your guys' environment and your beliefs. So that's really interesting. No, we definitely respect family and respect women in the highest. I mean, you got to understand, women are the ones who are going to provide us with our white babies. Mm -hmm. So we can't have and further our white race and have more white children without women. They're the key factor to all of it. So we have nothing but the most respect for women. And anyone who doesn't respect women, is an abuser, is a scumbag to women, is ostracized from our movement. We have no part in uh, the abuse of women, no part in, uh, in degrading them or making them in any way a lesser uh, part. Yeah. How do you guys feel your rights have been affected since you moved here? Definitely being denied service and uh, denied employment. He's a chef. Yep, I've tried to apply for jobs and they've. Desperate for a cook at, in the Elgin, uh, the. Little Golden cafe Island there. Cafe, mm -hmm. And uh, they won't uh, check his uh, references or anything. And, uh, right, we call that reverse racism. Yeah. 
when someone who's of your own race decides to persecute you just because of your beliefs. Like I said, if I was an Obama supporter, they would say, oh yeah, we'll hire you. But because I wear the swastika, because I believe in national socialism is a, a superior form of government from what our current system is, they treat me differently. Um, that kind of brings up the case of Regan. Have you guys heard about the about Regan? I was, there's a rumor that uh, Cobb was trying to buy land and they pulled, them, pulled the land off the market and there's rumor of a lawsuit happening. Do you guys know anything? I haven't heard anything of that. I know that we just had somebody come to our door three days ago that said, I'd love to sell you our land. Okay. People here either want to sell to get out or want to sell because they want to sell. It's, this is the, the same economy that's going on here as it is everywhere else. People want to sell their land, they do. If they don't, they don't. We're not pushing anybody to sell anything, but when they hand it to us and say, here, you know, please buy this from me, of course we're going to say yes. So. I think a lot of people also get confused that uh, they think that we think that all white people are great, and uh, there's a lot. No, of there's lots of scumbag white people. We have no tolerance for drugs. Tolerance. We do not in any way imbibe any kind of drugs. Um, I'm not going to lie to you and say I don't have a beer now and then, but that's legal, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm of age to do that. Mm -hmm. But I'm a responsible parent. I'm a responsible adult, and there's a time and a place for that. But when it comes to drugs. No tolerance. And there's no tolerance in our movement in general for that. Not only in the National Socialist movement, but in the white power scene in general. Most of the crews that you'll talk to, or groups, uh, will have no tolerance for drugs. And if a member is found to be using in any, any form, they will be uh, thrown out of the group. Because we don't tolerate that. It's purity of body and mind. You can't, you know, promote our race and, and have healthy white babies and lead, by uh, and lead by example because we do you know when these guys say yeah, we smile and wave mm -hmm. you know we, we show our whiteness at every turn nobody can say that I'm a hate monger because I'll smile and wave you might hate me but I guess uh, my last question is do you guys feel safe in Leaf? Yes. Mostly. Yeah. Compared to we see we, we moved from a small town to Sheridan and there's a, you know, about the same amount of people from Carson and Elgin together. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we had a nice two bedroom apartment and we could not leave our cars in the parking spot without some crackhead or some crazy person threatening mm -hmm. the lives of our children mm -hmm. or breaking in cars. We can't, we can't go to church and come home without worried about someone being in our house robbing us blind. You know, out here, there might not be a lot of people and they might hate us. But it's still very zen and peaceful. Well, and that's what we want to bring back to this community. I mean, as this community grows, which I know it will, uh, it's going to bring a sense of safety to all the members of the community. Because we as white nationalists and we as national socialists promote community safety. We, you know, we're patrolling the borders in Arizona. We, are, we actually have a Desert Fox unit of the NSM that patrols the borders of Mexico. We are trying to, to make the community safe for whites and for whoever else happens to be there so they can feel comfortable and happy. There's no reason for anybody to be afraid in their home. Okay. Thank you. I, um, I asked the kids some questions because I know that we don't want to like push them or anything, but I asked them how they feel because naturally, you know, we're in an old house that we're restoring and it's not as primitive or whatnot as, you know, the bling bling houses. and. I asked them if they're happy that they're here, and they say they love it, and I ask them why. And they say because we're more, we're all together. If there's more unity, we're all together. And even though we don't have cable, they don't care. We go out and play together, we're all together, and well, it's, it's been nice. And it's there's so really many nice. misconceptions about, you know, you see this, this swastika, people see it as a sign of evil. And I wanna just make, I, this is one thing I always try and say when you guys come out. The swastika is a sign of power, it's a sign of strength, it's a sign of white unity. It's historically represented the sun. It is uh, something that brings us all together and that I wear proudly. And I'll, I wear my jacket everywhere. I let people judge me at face value. But I wear it proudly and I display it in my home proudly. Oh yeah. And we did it at our home And we, too. as the National Socialist Movement, uh, follow the principles laid down by Adolf Hitler. Uh, and also by George Lincoln Rockwell, the founder of the American Nazi Party. So, just got to get my two cents in there. <laughs> uh, that, you said Sheridan. That's Sheridan, Oregon, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Oregon? Okay. Yep. Land of the hippies and liberals. Oh, yeah. 
It's a shame because Portland used to be the uh, the. It used to be the capital of of us. <laughs> yeah. It used to be more uh, white nationalist skinhead type individuals in Portland than just about anywhere on the West Coast, other than maybe California. And now, you and now the there's roads, you so many liberals and commie red. Cart and the crack hit across the street hitting the pipe. You know, we also stand firmly against communism in all its kind of forms. Crazy. In oh. case I didn't mention that. No, I'm taking care of you. I'm um, sorry. This might be off topic a little bit, but uh, sure. how do you how do you guys feel about uh, and I don't know if this would be true for the whole National Socialist movement, but how do you guys feel about like say the wars in Iraq and Well, uh, I'm a decorated Iraqi veteran. I served the United States Marine Corps Infantry in 04 and 05. Uh, the National Socialist Movement tries not to take too many stances, but we do feel that the war is sort of wrong. It's not necessarily morally wrong, but there's too many things here at home that we could be taking care of with, those sa with that same manpower. I have too many friends that are dead, and that country is still a hole. Absolutely. So, and, gays and, and now they've ruined the military. <laughs> they, now they allow homosexuals in the military. That's very, and, um, and women to be on the front lines, as you know. I mean, it's just changed changed from what it was even from when I was in. My grandpa was a Korea and a Vietnam veteran and uh, got, he'd be rolling in his grave if he knew what the Corps was today. In the beginning of our relationship uh, we had just uh, you know got turned on to the NSM if you will or whatnot and uh, he was very lost you know lots of antidepressants and medications and having to go to the VA clinic and now that he has unity and brotherhood, uh, he feels like he's part of something again. So it, it's, it's good for him. Do you think your experience in the military pushed you towards the NSM yes. then? Yes. Because I went and saw what the military was, and I went and saw what other countries were, and I went and saw what our country is becoming, and it made me want to stand up and make the change. And I, as a citizen, can't bitch and complain if I don't stand up and do something. I vote. I participate in my community, I participate in everything that's political that pertains to my family and to my needs and our needs and then I feel like when it's all said and done, whatever the decision is, at least I had a part in making it. Because we are Americans and unfortunately democracy is the way things operate right now and so as part of that we put our two cents in constantly. I think a lot of people are just really misinformed. Like yep. there was a, a, the pastor's wife came over and brought us apples and she tried to compare the NSM to uh, socialism. We are not commie <laughs> reds in any way, shape or form. She did make an important comment though that the Obama administration is a socialist administration. Mm -hmm. It is as close to commie red as it can get here in America. And all I can say is impeach Obama get him out of office. It's not even because he's black. It's because he wasn't necessarily even a citizen of this country when he was elected. He wasn't elected legally like he should have been. He shouldn't be in office. And no one, whether you talk to us or you talk to the Antifa or you talk to any of them, wants him in office. I think that uh, I think that's across outside of... Republicans, Democrats, yeah, everybody Republicans is pretty displeased with his uh, administration. So hopefully... The last straw that pulled us the kids, do you remember that memo that we got from the uh, NSM about uh, Obama's... Obama uh, passed something on the down low, I guess, and all the schools were faxed information to give leniency to any African American or any mixed African American because they've been oppressed for so long. My nephew is straight black and white. My sister is a race trained filth. And, she, uh, her son should have gotten suspended and terminated from school many times. But and because he's black, he gets the chances. grace. He gets detention rather than suspension because they try to go lenient because, you know, yeah. That's interesting. I'm sorry, but my white children have to have harder homework, have to follow the rules. How is this fair? If we had so many DHS workers that didn't have to worry about learning English and, and watching all these people sharing social security cards. Well, and giving be out more, benefits more to minorities. I mean, you come to our country, you get, you know, free education, you get free it's medical, a happy meal. You, you get, get everything. You get a free driver's license. You, know? you don't even have to take a citizen no. test to be a citizen in this country anymore. No. And for hundreds of years, that was the case. You had to prove that you dollars. wanted to be here. You had to prove that you were worth it to be here. And now you just they, we just open our arms to everyone and then they ruin us. Yeah. You go into the cities, there's slums because of them. And they don't care. They send all their money back to Mexico. Yes, they, do. they don't put it back into our economy. They don't put it back into our 
into our government, into our towns, they Even send it they back. they are legal and pay taxes, whatever money that they get to keep, they send home to their And they all work under four, they were four or five people work under one social security number illegally, and no one stops it. Businesses hire them knowing this. Yeah. If we could put a stop to that, we could, we could re-employ America. You know? I mean, it's baby steps, but there's so many flawed things, and no one wants to ask why. They just, they follow like sheep. They just, okay, I'm, I'm with you guys, you know, but we're going to think outside the box, and, and we don't care. So we're going to change things bad. one thing at a time. Yeah. And it's going to start here in Leith, and hopefully it'll spread elsewhere. Greece is already doing it. Yeah. They have a national socialist government as we speak. The Golden Dawn Party is a national socialist government. Very well. And you know what? Their government's doing great. Yeah. They're in the best economic state that they've been in in 100 years. How do you guys feel about the government shutdown? <sighs> Were they really working for us in the first place? <laughs> that is a really good quote. <laughs> I, I, I mean, what Working were they for doing for me, yeah. you know? They, the, ironically, the first thing they said they were gonna cut, Social Security, veterans benefits. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna tell me that you're gonna take away the benefits from American patriots who went and fought from this country? Why, so you give it to Mexicans? who don't care, who'd rather freaking raise the Mexican flag, who'd rather fly the American flag upside down? Oh, yeah. How dare they? They're not welcome here. Yeah. Well, thanks guys, I think we got what we want. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Did you want to get a, one of these?